I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. All right, we got a hot time in the old town in New York City. Jim, no jacket. Jim Jordan is here with nothing to brag about. I uh, need to get the similarities again to play on words. Alvin Bragg is his name, and Jim Jordan with no jacket. Jim Jordan, the three J's, and the, you get the idea, right? So, get the, look, my creativity. Give, give me some. Give, give me some. You know, if I'm if I'm showing some creativity, man, give me some play, right? Anyway, no jacket. Jim Jordan is here with nothing to brag about. Uh, and they're right downtown at Javis Center, down 34th Street, down there. Senator Jacob Javis, y'all remember him? And they built this big center. So they're downtown now demonstrating unequivocally that New York is a crime riddled place. And the only thing that no, nothing to brag about is, is thinking about is putting tr Tribulation Trump in jail for paying hush money uh, to uh, a porn star. And the, so, so Jim Jordan is here today. He brought his crew. He brought his whole crew. He brought the Democrats up here as well. And they, they, they scoured the streets of Manhattan and New York and Bronx to get a whole lot of people to testify about the crime. And the crime is off the charts here, and like you've never seen it before. I mean, you know, they got 18-year-old boy, 15-year-old boy shooting one another on 125th Street while I was away last week. Four murders took place right here on 125th Street, one by another, two blocks from here. So I'm not going out of my building without, without my nightstick. You know what I mean? No, uh, it's bad up here. Anyway, so I'm going to let the engineer, we got, we got a clip from, I think, Fox News, Ferris Faulkner. Uh, you know her. Uh, she's going to you know, let us eavesdrop on what's going on. Mr. Engineer, roll that clip. Hearing on violent crime in New York City. And at times it has been heartrending, heartbreaking. And at times it has just been horrific. It comes just weeks after the indictment of former President Trump, and Democrats say the hearing is purely payback for that, all political. However, New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik pins it on the city's lax crime policies. She says New York is being targeted because you have radical left-wing Democrats who have put failed bail reform in place. That includes Governor Kathy Hochul. That includes defund the police Democrats in New York City, as well as radical far-left district attorneys like Alvin Bragg. The mother of a U.S. Army veteran, I showed her to you earlier. He was murdered in a gang assault in the city. She shared her story this morning. One of the four charged in that fatal incident is already back on the streets. This mom wants Alvin Bragg held accountable. Mary Saunders, the savage is currently walking the streets of Harlem. She's capable at any moment of snapping and attacking someone and holding them while someone else plunges a butcher knife into their body nine times and another person 12 times and then run away and leave their body in the street to bleed to death. And as far as the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, if he's receiving one penny of federal dollars, you need to pull that funding until he starts doing his damn job Whoa. and executing crime. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, she said the quiet part out loud. Former New York Republican Congressman and gubernatorial candidate Lee Zeldin is here. Uh, your response, first of all, to Madeline Brain. Madeline is a strong woman, and she is not just speaking out with her own pain and fighting for justice towards the son's murderers, uh, many of which, uh, many of whom are able to get through a criminal justice system with the assistance of people who are there for the purpose of prosecuting, but unfortunately for people like Alvin Bragg, they think DA stands for defense attorney, not district attorney. Ooh. I'm really happy that this House Judiciary Committee hearing took place. Uh, I think that the Democrats are missing the boat on a, on a couple points here. One is, this is a real issue for New Yorkers it across is. party lines. No, People who no, go to the local pharmacy and they're seeing their toothpaste locked up, or maybe they're not feeling safe and traveling right, on a uh, subway or other quality of life yeah, impacts. There's also the wrong lifting. assumption that Democrats are making lifting. as if blind partisan loyalty is just going to overwhelm the prioritization of other issues that transcend politics, like wanting safe streets. 
Uh, so really what the answer is here is for more leadership, and we want people of all parties to stand up and say enough is enough. We want to take back our streets to support our men and women in law enforcement. And this shouldn't be something that is pitting party against party. Everyone should be on board in making sure that people like Madeline feel safe and they feel like there's a justice yeah. system representing them and their families. I got to be honest with you. When I hear you say this, it takes me back to two days in your candidacy. Not one, but two. One, your family was in harm's way because of gunfire not far from your kitchen. The other was when a man with a shiv came at you and tried to kill you on stage. I mean, when I think about those times, I wonder if anything has changed that's good enough to keep you, your family, and Madeline Brame, and so many uh, millions let of me, people. Let me let me pause just a second, Mr. Engineer. I'll bring you back to for in just a moment. Uh, the the issue here is obviously that Jim, no jacket Jim Jordan, um, who believes that the the indictment against tribulation Trump for you know paying hush money to Stormy Daniels. Uh, and he's been indicted on criminal charges, 34 criminal charges that have been brought against him. And so, what Jim, and obviously you all know this, but I'm just you know, recounting it on your behalf, that Jim, no jacket Jim Jordan is saying, well, you know, all the crime going on here in New York uh, for a man paying money to a, to a prostitute, well, I don't know, a prostitute, what you call it, yeah, I guess so, um, Ought not to be priority. So he, no jacket Jim Jordan. I thought when he first said he was going to do it, that I thought he was just blowing smoke. But he's actually brought the entire judiciary and, and team uh, to New York. And I, I guess they're going to be here for just one day. I don't, I don't know if they're going to be here beyond that or whether they will or not. But there are a lot of people in New York that heard that the crime is awful in New York. I tell you, that don't go outside your house in New York without your nightstick. No, you need to be able to protect yourself. And uh, it's, it's, it's getting worse under Eric Adams, who is the mayor. Now, he's a Hamite. They call himself, he calls himself black. Everybody else calls him black, but he's a Hamite. Well, I don't know if he's a Hamite or not. He's just black. And then you got Alvin Bragg. And both of these are two young people. And I did a thing the other day about nothing makes black people happier than getting a black politician, not getting a black bank, not getting a black, a black person building an automobile, a black person, you know, discovering some sort of, the boy, you talk about black people getting happy when they get a politician. Get a black politician, even though they're sleeping on the streets and cardboard, they don't even want a house to live in. They don't want a, they don't want a bed or, or a blanket to cover them up when they sleep in the street. But if you give them, all they want is give us a black politician. It's the sickest damn thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, listen, you know, let's look at a little bit more of this, then I got to go because I got to get you to Tucker Carlson and Roger Stone in just a moment. So hold tight. Let's see what else is here she got to say. People here in New York City safe. Well, unfortunately, right now, what we're seeing is that uh, you don't have policies that are actually getting rid of cashless bail. Uh, so that we're going further down the wrong path with elected officials who feel like we don't go far enough in representing criminals. Uh, there's the aspect of prosecutors who are refusing to enforce the law. Alvin Bragg said on day one when he mm -hmm. got into office, he was not going to prosecute all different kinds of crimes across the board. All sorts he of other it. crimes were going to get treated as lesser offenses. And then the third piece is that last year we saw NYPD having more resignations, retirements than they've experienced in an extremely long time. The impact on morale and their own safety. So there's not enough support of our men and women in law enforcement. So for New Yorkers... And there's other cities like this. You're just playing the clip from Chicago right. for, for people who want state. to see their streets taken back, for law-abiding Americans to be in control rather than criminals, from the policies to the prosecutors to the lack of support of law enforcement. There's a lot of people who feel like this isn't going in the right direction. Well, thank God you and your family are okay. And, you know, you, you talk about the voters turning things around. But they're not. In Chicago, they went from Lori Lightfoot to Brandon Johnson. They didn't That's choose Paul Ballas, who was decidedly Brandon a lot Johnson. more moderate. They doubled uh, down on some of these policies nightmare. and defunding the police. Here in New York City, they, they didn't have to nightmare, choose Mayor Eric Adams. They thought they'd chosen the former Republican that he is, the former New York City cop that he is, and that he might be different. With Alvin Bragg, I mean, everybody knows who these DAs are. People aren't making those choices. I wonder why the people who don't feel safe are outnumbered by the ones who don't care. 
Um, all right, let's there get There are a to lot of people who are waking up. Yeah. Uh, well, and I mean, New York State, for example, 22% of the state is registered Republican. We got just under 50% of the vote. Clearly, there are a lot of people who are not Republican mm -hmm. who feel like we need to do more to secure our streets. We just need even more people to wake up in order to actually turn this around. Yeah, those are, those are important numbers to know that. about. Thank you. Uh, tensions around the globe I, are growing. I, it's I, an especially I, serious you, time. I don't, I don't think, I mean, a lot of people, you know, as far as crime is concerned, uh, here, here in the Big Apple, uh, first of all, tourists are a little concerned about coming here. If they realize they can get robbed and murdered and maimed and mugged. But I don't. I I, I can tell you this: things are going to get worse. They're not going to get better. America has seen. I'm not anti-American. I'm not a hater. I'm not one against. I I wave. I got a flag. I wave the flag. I sing Star Spangled Banner. Banner and all that. God bless America. No, 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 no. Yes, I love America. But I'm going to tell you how, how best days are. America is the melting pot of the tribulation. And that's why we see so many things. I mean, you would think that the mass shootings, where, where's all this coming from? And uh, I'm going to be meeting with our school officials to deal with the whole idea because these Gen Zers have nothing to look up to. And nobody's paying it any attention. No one is paying. Everybody's too involved. And in, I don't know what they're involved in. The people that are in their 40s and 50s, 60s, and 70s, people don't go to church anymore. Uh, these Gen Zers have nothing to look up to. They're just killing and running. And I, 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 Listen, uh, it, 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 it's only going to get worse. And AI is coming. You may not know what it is, but it's coming. And when it comes, people will not have the power to resist it. Um, and, and, and all this business of celebrating trannies and celebrating, you know, LGBTQ, it, it is madness. And celebrating, rapping, it is, it is just escalating into a time is worse than a ball of confusion. But at any rate, I uh, wanted to be able to say that. I, I, we, we, there is art law, and God's getting ready. God sent all these people up here to build all these buildings so we can live in them. That's right, just like he did with, jo with David Ben-Gurion over there in Israel back in 1948. And the way he did with, Jer J with, with uh, Joshua back there in the Bible days when they crossed the Jordan into Jericho. So I'm, I'm, it's a, it's a, for me, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, you know, I'm prophesying what's going on and I'm telling people about Atla and, and uh, the, the place where Jesus will return. But it's going to get worse. You think the mass shootings, there's going to be more. I kept telling you, I told you all that the other day. And so they got tribulation Trump. He's going to be indicted down there in Georgia. He's going to be indicted. Jack Smith down there in Washington going to indict him on Mar Mar-a-Lago documents. Going to indict him on January 6th. Trump was in town the other day. He spent seven hours being deposed. Seven hours asking him questions about his business enterprises here in New York City. And he can get fined a quarter of a million, quarter of a billion dollars. And for five years, won't be able to say nothing about his business. That could ruin him. And, and then it's got this woman, E. Jean Carroll, said he raped her and burned off Goodman several years ago, 30 years ago. So it's only going to get worse. Uh, then they had the killing down there in, in Alabama last uh, Saturday night. And you, you have to realize that it has never been like this before. We're in the tribulation, everybody. 